as we're live for NXT here at Full Sail University, the first show following the biggest shows of the year, not one and a two of WrestleMania. And what a way to kick it off. Then with the NXT World Champion, the man who was able to retain the title at WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing in at 210 pounds, the NXT Champion, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, the man who went toe to toe with Luke Harper at WrestleMania and was able to retain the championship. Not able to walk on to Full Sail here on NXT. And still the NXT World Champion. As we're off the heels of WrestleMania, where NXT was involved for the first time in history. Daniel Bryan had to compete on night two against Luke Harper, while Bianca Belair defended her title against Sasha Banks on night one. Both matches were great matches on both nights. And now the world champion in the ring. Look at this speak in front of the NXT Universe here in Full Sail. There's the NXT Champion being uh, overconfident as usual. Indeed he did. I disagree with that, Daniel. Calling Luke Harper not championship to Taylor. I highly disagree with that. Daniel Bryan already got his mind on the next takeover event. Daniel Bryan proposing a tournament where the winner will face him in a title match. That is a good idea. Daniel Bryan going off on the NXT roster. But I do like the idea of a tournament here on NXT. That is sure, ladies and gentlemen, the next takeover event will be TakeOver Blackpool in the United Kingdom. Brown wants to show why he is the NXT Champion as he will be in action to kick off the show. The overconfident NXT Champion taking on the modern day Maharaja in Jinder Mahal. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal. Here comes a former WWE Champion. Jinder Mahal going to go up against the NXT champion and Daniel Bryan. What a win it would do for Jinder if he could somehow get by the NXT world champion. What a decisive victory it would be if he could pin the champion inside the ring. But then again, it's going to be hard for Jinder to do because Daniel Bryan's on a massive roll ever since coming over to NXT. Ever since winning the NXT title back at TakeOver Phoenix, he's been on the roll. He's defeated everyone that came into his path. And Jinder Mahal is slowly but surely going to find out why Daniel Bryan is the NXT Champion. But Daniel Bryan's in the ring. What the? Wait a minute. Speaking of Luke Harper. Looks like Luke Harper has unfinished business with Daniel Bryan. We're going to watch this matchup up close and personal at ringside. Looks like Harper's gonna keep an eye out on the NXT Champion. Daniel Bryan said that Luke Harper is quote, not championship material. 
Well, Harper looking to watch this very closely at ringside. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Bryan one on one. Which of the Mahal to begin NXT? That's Mahal. Right off the bat, look at the rethink his strategy on the outside. But Daniel Bryan not looking to let Mahal get that chance. Following him on that ringside, but Mahal fighting back. And now Daniel Bryan sends him crashing out to the steel steps. Three. Normally a match like this would favor Jinder Mahal. If you look at the size difference, Four. Daniel Bryan, about 5'10, 210 pounds. Four. Taking on Jinder Mahal. He would have changed his body weight Six. and his whole physique. As Daniel Bryan taking it towards Mahal, punishing him by throwing him onto the steel steps. Things are not looking good for the modern day Maharaja. Kind of ate by the referee. Bryan looking to get back in the room, looking to take a, take a count up, perhaps. I mean, that's a way to show how great of a champion you are, but then again, Daniel Bryan, instead of taking the easy route and taking a count out win, wants to go after Jinder Mahal, able to bring it back in the ring, does Mahal. Again, Mahal's gonna stay on the champion. He's been on the massive roll as of late. And Daniel Frankenstein, the thing is, with Daniel Bryan's on a roll, it's very hard to stop him. As Mahal with that kick to the dome. And now Bryan on the outside. Bryan might be on the defense here. And Shinder got him float over. What a neck breaker takedown. But Bryan up to his feet though. And oh, bang, right to the midsection. It'll bring Bryan to his knee. And now Mahal, able to send it back inside the squared circle. As Mahal now, they're going to take it towards the champion. Got him here. Side rush to the light sweep. Things are not looking good for the NXT champion, especially after calling Luke Harper not championship material. Got a bad example showing of what you can do inside the ring as the champion with your former adversary, if you will. Maybe he still is your adversary. And Luke Harper watching on our ringside. That cross arm neck breaker there from Mahal moments ago. Able to rattle the champion. Got him on the apron. Then it feels that like he might be in control as he knocks the champion down that ringside once again. As things are not looking good for Daniel. Let's go. Oh, kicked in the midsection there. As oh, Brian sending him face first off the post. And Luke Harper, no doubt, his presence. It's just enough of, of a distraction for Daniel Bryan to lose focus. But it seems that Bryan might have things in hand here. After that drop kick to the midsection of Mahal, the, the momentum able to land onto the apron. That's Bryan now. Big set between the apron and the steel steps. Mahal. Soaking it all in that he might be in control. Now Mahal sends Bryan back in the ring. Count at eight. And match continues. The second time in this match where Count on almost ended the matchup. Big right from Matt Bryan. And now Mahal suffering some right from Bryan. As the NXT champion sends the Monte Maharaja onto the outside. And now Bryan is going to rub it in the face of Harper. And oh, Bryan. How do you win Mahal? Harper up to his feet now. Daniel Bryan talks to Trash. And Mahal trying to get involved. Mahal trying to bum rush the champion. But Bryan luckily able to get out the way. Bryan was able to get out the way in time. With a camera incident there. With a glitch there. But still, Mahal trying to bum rush the champion. But he got Harper instead. And now it's Daniel Bryan. They're going to take advantage and work on Mahal. There's Daniel. Running knee. Running knee straight. Took him down. Leg hook. Two count. And he got him. Here is your winner, Daniel Bryan. Some audio and visual situations happening there out of control. But in the end, Daniel Bryan stands tall as your NXT Champion. As we're back live here in Full Sail University for NXT 
But it's time for some women's action. You got Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan making their way in the ring for some one-on-one -on -one action. As you got Dana Brooke taking on Liv Morgan. Here tonight, a 10-minute time limit matchup. Metal Strong, and there we go, as Liv Morgan right off the bat with a head scissors, able to take down Dana. They can immediately go for a cover leg hook, lateral press, and Brooke able to survive there. Liv Morgan is taking on a former two-time women's champion in Dana Brooke, believe it or not. Back in 2K17, a multiple-time women's champion. Dana Brooke going to come back in this match for him in the face. And oh, plants her face first on the knee. Things might not be looking good for Liv Morgan as Morgan has been able to get some wins on NXT so far. Shockingly got a win over Kyrie Sane on NXT weeks ago. They're going to do the same against at the expense of Dana Brooke here. As Brooke now got sent to the corner by the Morgan. And oh, back elbow there from Dana. Backhand chop, knocked down Liv Morgan. And a kick to the spine for good measure. And you got Sarah Logan watching on. The Viking and Sarah Logan watching on our ringside for her friend and Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan and Brooke back and forth. Having a little cat and mouse situation back and forth in the ring and outside the ring. And Morgan has had enough. And now Brooke caught with a forearm. And now Dana got her here and plants her with a backbreaker. With the hyper extend the back there. And, and Morgan with a front kip up there, a front flip. And oh! That did no good for Lynn Morgan as Dana Brooke took her down. And the flex appeal is going to be in full effect here in the black and gold brand of NXT. Dana Brooke out of here and it. Oh my god! Just tossed her onto the road, scoop slam. And it, oh! Take to the bit section there from Liv Morgan. And now Morgan got Dana here. Things are not looking good. Spiked her in the corner and chucked her down. The Women's Division looking to thrive here in NXT. It continues to grow. Not to mention we have a lot of talent on this very show. And you got the bank, we got the boss and Sasha Banks involved as well. Got a great matchup against Bianca Belair who was able to retain the title of WrestleMania. And Smith Morgan seems a bit excited here. Morgan launching Dana Brooke onto the ropes. Even a catapult her. And now Brooke is going to fight back despite getting her throat damaged onto the ropes. And now Dana Brooke, look at the strength of Brooke here. Got her in a vertical position. Oh, a vertical suplex. A nice vertical suplex in this 10 minute time limit matchup. Brooke got her here. Dana Brooke got in the Canadian backbreaker. Liv Morgan's in trouble. Not in a good spot here. She might submit. And no Morgan ever escaped the hold. And oh. Dana Brooke got her. Look at the strength of Brooke. As Dana. Oh. Tossing Liv Morgan around the, the ring. Dana Brooke got her here and oh! Plants her head first onto the mat. They're gonna do some damage to the cranium of Morgan. Off the rope goes Liv. Got her. And oh! They're gonna pound into the, pound the spine of Brooke. Get her with the knee lift as well. Four minutes remaining. Uh, oh! Four to six minutes remaining in this match. As. Oh! Nice takedown from Liv Morgan with the head scissors. As Dana Brock back elbow, back and forth between both women in this match. As Liv Morgan sends her onto the, into the corner area. Things are not looking good for Dana at this moment. About to hit that five minute mark in this match. Liv Morgan got her. And another head scissors. Able to take her down. Liv Morgan. Oof. 
might be in control here. Does it, that, oh, he's trying to go for an Inziguri, but Brook able to dodge a bullet there. And back elbow connected. Able to stun Liv Morgan. Got the arm here. They're going to work on the arm. As Liv Morgan. Oh, Connor. Put the right into the midsection. And now Brooke sent down with a snap man and a kick to the spine by Liv Morgan. These two just dishing it out here inside the ring. Yeah, about four minutes remaining in this match. Irish Swift sent it to the corner. Trying to go for an arm drag, but Dana Brooke out over the drop to the hole. And things might be looking on the up and up for Dana Brooke now. Able to counter, and now Brooke got her here. Oh, Glennon with a face, a face first like maneuver. A flatliner, if you will. Four minutes remaining in this matchup. It's Dana Brooke got her. Short arm clothesline. And down goes Morgan, and Morgan on the outside, looking to regroup here. And Stana Brooke giving it her all inside that ring. As Morgan in the ring, and oh, trying to go for a drop kick. Brooke trying to go for a kick. Counter. Now the momentum trying to pick up in this match a little bit. And Brooke cut over the clothesline. And then, oh! Big kick to the spine. Dana Brooke got something in mind here. We're gonna possibly finish. Got her here. Oh, air raid crash. Able to play with the air raid crash. Knife head shot But Morgan. Oh. Morgan fired back with the backhand shot. And was able to take it down with a clothesline. Would that be enough for it? A big win over Brooke. Two count, not enough. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Dana Brooke. Elbow to the back of the skull. And a nice drop kick on the Morgan. That's Dana. They're going to be on hot pursuit for Liv Morgan. Big paintbrush. He's left in the face. Right, Dana. And oh, it stopped in the back of the knee. And a neck breaker for good measure. The Morgan with a kip up. The Morgan with a the fight towards Dana, and now Morgan with a head scissors. Only two minutes remaining in this match. We might get a draw. Oh, Mr. a chop. Big Morgan got her in the corner. There's Morgan. Back down the corner, drop kick! The drop kick out of the corner! Morgan with the drop kick! Will that be enough? Leg is hooked, two count, and Brooke kicks out! Ladies and gentlemen, we have 90 seconds left in this matchup! These two might actually make it a draw for the first time in NXT history! And Morgan Connor! Double knees! Into the face! With that bit of Legas Hook! Liv Morgan gets the win! When the stakes were high, Morgan prevails! Here is your winner, Liv Morgan! Liv Morgan continues getting a win here on NXT, continuing to impress the NXT universe. Wow! There's Rusa. Obviously, Rusev not really a fan of Shame is trying to challenge for the North American title. That is true. Seamus will be in action coming up just now. 
As they're back in the arena here in Full Sail, as Titus Warlock making his way down the aisle. Titus O'Neil in action here tonight with Apollo Crews at ringside. As the big gator. They're gonna take on the Irish curse. Here comes the Celtic Warrior. And Seamus. We saw Seamus about to challenge Buddy Murphy for the North American title, but then Rusev decided to intervene and actually stop Seamus from challenging the North American champion. Rusev claimed that he was not going to sit there idly by and let Seamus be the one to challenge Buddy Murphy. So it seems there might be some issues between Sheamus and Rusev going on here on NXT. Well, Sheamus is going to prove once again why he might be in the front line of the North American title since the North American title was formerly the Cruiserweight Championship of NXT. But I remember he said that he looked at it as a ceiling, that he couldn't get past that. He couldn't break through that certain ceiling as a Cruiserweight. So he decided to get rid of the Cruiserweight title to give opportunity, more opportunity to other superstars here on the Black and Gold brand. And now Sheamus looking to challenge that title. And it might backfire on Buddy Murphy. Here we go, 15 minute time limit in this matchup. Sheamus right off the bat. We're gonna go off the title to Leo, but Tuzzle with a pet butt. And Sheamus trying to go for a sidewalk slam, but Titus got him with the knee. Everybody get him with the knee in the face, and now Titus O'Neil got him up. Look at the strength of Big Deal. Titus O'Neil got him up. As O'Neil got him. Oh, that's a stalling vertical suplex. And now Seamus. What's up with a big kick to the mid? Oh, God! A kick to the midsection and a chop. For good measure. That woke up Seamus. That chop got it backfired on Titus. And Seamus is going to take it towards O'Neal. The Celtic Warrior. And those ones like to hold on to gold. A former two-time WWE Champion. Former World Heavyweight Champion. Intercontinental Champion as well. And United States Champion. And Sheamus cut him on an uppercut. He waited for O'Neal to get up to his feet. And cut him on an uppercut anyway. Spiked him out of the corner did O'Neal. And now Titus got him. And oh, scoops him. Able to scoop slam Sheamus. And now Titus got the... The trap area of Seamus. After working on the traps there on the shoulders, would that be enough cover? Couldn't put him away. A big kick, they're barely effective. And a shoulder tackle. And now Seamus got Titus again, tossing him. If the crowd is not entertained, Seamus. The crowd booing the Celtic Warrior. Here in full cell is Seamus sending O'Neal on the outside. And now both men oh! running in front of the fans. Looking for a right to O'Neal. Forming the face counter. And oh, well, Titus caught him. Brought him face first onto the apron. Got an LED board there. And oh, sent him out to the barricade. And Titus with the strikes, and now Seamus coming back. Seamus got his hands on Titus. Able to send him back in the ring. And now Seamus got him. And <laughs> slamming his chest first onto the apron. These two just hitting each other with hard hitting maneuvers. Cover. These two looking to punish each other. No funny back shot to the midsection. And a big run from Big Deal. As Titus got him. Backbreaker. And Titus with a standing following slam. Seamus might be in trouble. Titus and then trying to go for a maneuver. And Seamus got him with a boot. Seamus got him with the bro kick. Seamus got him with the bro kick. Leg is hooked. And 
Titus kicks out at two. Titus able to surprise the world, kicking out at two with the bro kick. Not many kick out at the bro kick that often. And now, oh. Titus is looking to come back. Big right, and then another one, and another one, and oh no, and Seamus. And a, oh, kick to the midsection. And Seamus, double X handle. The crowd is getting into this match. And it, oh, Seamus now. Seamus got Titus, spikes him again and again. Oh, with the Irish curse backbreakers. Able to wish upon the Irish curse to Seamus. And then the broom kick. Apollo Crews not liking the view. Leg hook. Seamus gets the win. Wow. Hard hating matchup between both men. It's like whatever one delivers a big maneuver, the other try to outdo the outdo each other. It's incredible. I'm at a loss for words. But you saw Seamus the bro kick, then the Iris curse backbreakers, and then the bro kick again for the victory. The Celtic Warrior standing tall tonight here in Full Sound. As Seamus has I set on that WWE NXT North American Championship. Buddy Murphy, hope you're watching. Because the Celtic Warrior is coming. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's coming up. Right now, our main event, Extreme Rules. Eric Young made this, this decision to take on Sami Zayn in an Extreme Rules match next. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This all started when Sami Zayn took a big loss to Eric Young on NXT weeks ago. Sami Zayn, he knows in his heart that he can defeat Eric Young. So he challenged him to a rematch. Eric Young said, "If the only way I'll take you on again is if I get to choose a stipulation. And he's chosen an Extreme Rules matchup. And well, ladies and gentlemen. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. From Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 232 pounds. Eric. Yeah! Here comes Eric Young, a former NXT Tag Team Champion in Season 2 of Universe Mode. And it, here in NXT, Eric Young used to be ha used to have his compadres, his, I guess, I don't know, disciples? If not, his, I, I don't know, his partners in Sanity. I don't know what to call them, but... He used to have Alexander Wolf and Killing and Dan, but it seems that he's on his own here at NXT. And now, Eric Young looking to prove that he can do it all alone here in the Black and Gold brand. That's Eric Young. Looking to take on the underdog from the underground. Here comes an opponent, a man that's out for redemption. Here comes Sami Zayn. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. A stand-up guy in Sami Zayn, a well-spoken individual that will speak his mind when necessary. Sami Zayn. Spoke his mind about he can defeat Eric Young. And tonight he was just, he's looking to prove it inside the ring. Will Sami Zayn get the job done? Will he be successful? Will he be able to stand toe to toe with Eric Young and get the job done? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Young, Sami Zayn, extreme rules. 30 minute time limit. In this main event matchup, is Sam trying to go for Young, and he's going, but Young able to counter, and Young caught up with a super kick. 
Super kick right off the back by Eric Young, cover, and a kick out from Zayn. Eric Young obviously going to end it early. We'll do a match with Eric Young defeating Sami Zayn in record time here in NXT. That will demoralize Sami Zayn's morality. That will change the landscape of Sami Zayn's career if he loses in record time. And Sami Zayn, a bit overconfident. Zayn trying to go for that moonsault, but Eric Young got the way. And now Eric Young taking it to Zayn with the strikes. Trying to go for a maneuver, but Zayn caught him. Trying to go for a kick, but then got caught with a clothesline. And, oh, sent him out to the barricade. And now Zayn got him half and half. Shades of Honey Lorcan with the half and half suplex. And now Sammy on the apron. Sammy Zayn, who wants Young up to his feet. Watching the Titan Tron and Sammy Zayn with a moonsault. That time connected. He's watching the Titan Tron to be sure about it. And now Zayn got the steel chair trying to go for a shot. But Young able to counter. And Eric Young caught him with a top block. As Eric Young, they're gonna take it towards Zayn here. He able to bring him back inside the ring. And uh oh, got the chair. And oh, kicked in a bit section there from Zayn. And a shot, and another shot. Here comes Sammy. Sammy Zayn, look at that slingshot. Suplex. And now Zayn on, on the outside, they're gonna get a weapon here. There's already a steel chair, and now uh oh. Again, no stick. I'm gonna go a swing it. Oh my god! It was swinging like a bat to Sammy, and Eric Young caught up with a form. And now Young's gonna punish Zane, slamming his head on the mat three times. And now, oh god! They stomp to the chest as Eric Young taking it towards Zane. And I'll say coming back with a dragon screw. And Sammy Zane, oh, trying to go for a maneuver. Maybe trying to go for an outside dive. But Eric Young able to beat him to the punch, got back in the ring, and Sammy Zane! Oh! Sunset power bomb! Impressive and effective as well. The fact that Sam's able to do that on the outside. Obviously on the oh! Early got him with that drop kick. The knee's able to get the back of the skull of Young. And Zane! Slamming his face onto the post. Very hard there. And oof, onto the barricade. Sammy Zane taking it towards Young! Able to use Eric Young's own stipulation against him. He slingshotted him onto the barricade. Now brought him back inside the ring. Sammy Zane. Bad intentions. Eric Young not gonna like the view. And Zayn able to go top, but Young caught him. Young caught him. Oh, into a backbreaker. Young able to catch Zayn, countering the crossbody attempt, but able to kick out at one. And now Sammy on the outside once again. Eric Young able to chase, trying to go for a German, but able to counter. It's like, Eric, it's like if Eric Young realized the danger of that German suplex would have done. And oh, the damage as well. Eric Young pounding away in Sammy's face. Might have been a mark there, if you will. Oh God, oh God, a bat! Oh, got to the knee, to the midsection. Sammy Zane, oh God. Being punished, Falls can anywhere. In an extreme rules to, oh, couldn't get it. Could not get it. Extreme rules, anything goes. Ben falls, can count anywhere. Practically a street fight. And Sami Zayn. Uh oh. Got a table. Things might not be looking good. Got his hands on the bat as well. They're gonna punish Eric Young with the bat! Oh! Ramming the bat into the face of Young. Sami Zayn trying to set up the table. And now look at Young! Oh! 
I watch it back and I'll scratch it as well, says Eric Young. And now backbreaker coming for Eric Young by Zane. These two obviously delivering a lot of pain towards one another. And Sami Zayn wants to punish Young again. Sunset bomb. That time in position for a pin and a two count. And now Sammy, oof, he able to send him out to the table. Eric Young though, he able to counter. And again, Zane sends him crashing onto the table. But Young obviously fighting back. He looked there by Zane. And I was like, uh oh, Zane got him up. On the shoulders, Zane, power slam. Sammy Zane with the power slam. And now Zayn wants Young up to his feet. Got the chair in hand. Trying to go for a chair shot. With Young countered. Young able to counter. A shot to the spine. Eric Young got him up here. Things are not looking for him. Oh, things are not looking good for Zayn. Dead Valley driver. Would I be enough to put Zayn away? Leg is hooked. And Zayn. Maybe out of instinct. Able to kick it at one. Oh my god. Back and forth to this extreme rules match. Young got the chair set up in the ring. In the corner. Trying to go for a kick. Zane blocked it. Sami Zayn got Young. Goal! Oh, Slams him into the corner. Head first into the chair. Sami Zayn, they're going to finish it. The power slam through a table. Head, head first into the chair. Huluma kick. The Huluma kick. Leg is hooked. Lateral press! Sammy beats Young! Holy! Here is your winner, Sammy Zane! What a win for the underdog of the underground! It's Sammy Zane! Zane finally able to get the job done at the expense of Eric Young. Good night from NXT!